coming up next, it's a UFC welterweight division matchup. Well, what a pop from the crowd as this guy makes the walk. Such a well-rounded fighter. And you got to think when the opponent breaks him down on film, not a lot of weaknesses jump out of the video. This is a true mixed martial artist. May not stand out in any one area, but plus skills across the board. Probably comfortable just about anywhere this fight goes tonight. This guy is a very well-rounded fighter. You never know what he's gonna do. His striking is world-class, his ground game is excellent, and he mixes them up very well. Well, it's a rare skill for a fighter to be able to stand in the pocket and avoid taking significant damage. But if you've watched the film on this young fighter, that's exactly what he's able to do. He frustrates and exhausts his opponents, and he stays pretty relaxed because he's so defensively sound. He uses movement and defense to set up his offense consummate sticker and mover he gets his head off of the center line and even when you think you have him in a compromising position more often than not he's able to swivel that head and get out of harm's way this guy has some of the best guard passing in all of mixed martial arts his technique and the speed of his execution is outstanding our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. What a weight division. This is first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Mr. Tenacious. And now we'll finish his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Manchester, England, Bisbee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. So Dan Mergliata shares the cage. Ready. Ready. So Here far. we go. That one hurt. Nice kicks. Oh, doing a damn good job with those leg kicks, Joe. And now you'll start to see his opponent slow down. Oh! Go! He's got him hurt here. Visibly limping here. Misses the takedown. Oh! That one oh, appeared to be stopped. Back to the feet. Well, he's playing with fire here, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable to that jab by almost leaning into it right into his opponent's range. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh! should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick, and as soon as it lands, that is the end. Here we see it again. I mean, just stiff. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliante has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 47 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout is Pierre. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.